Today I'm gonna to give you my top three ways to instantly improve your hip flexibility. We're gonna do it special forces style. We're gonna get in, I'm gonna give you the drills and we are going to get out. Okay, good job. I'm not sure how much time we have here. Probably not very much, so we better get right at it. First thing you need to do, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. If you're one of the new recruits, great to meet you. My name's Maria Mountain. I'm an exercise physiologist. I specialize in off-ice training for goalies, and today I'm giving you the three quickest ways to unlock hip mobility. We're gonna start by unlocking some hip internal rotation using just a lacrosse ball. So I'm purposely not using one that vibrates or anything fancy. This is just uh, Indian rubber lacrosse ball. Let's do a test retest, um, just so you can see the difference that it makes when, when we work on the right things. So I'm gonna start with my test. So this is my before. My knees are together, bent to 90 degrees. And I'm just letting them fall out to the side. Just gravity, I'm not trying to push it or anything like that. Just letting them fall. So kind of take a little snapshot of what that looks like. Then I'm gonna take the lacrosse ball and I'm not gonna do my regular glutes, the part of my glutes that I sit on. I'm gonna do my upper glutes in around here and then I'm gonna come down onto my TFL. So I'm gonna get my upper glutes for about 30 seconds. I'm only gonna do the right hand side. So then we can really sort of compare and see if at the end of this, it looks like my right side has improved relative to my left side. And I'm not gonna spend extra time. I'm not gonna turn off the camera and sit here for five minutes and do extra stretching. I'm just gonna do, yeah, roughly 30 seconds here, getting all along that upper border of the glutes, kind of where the glutes ties into the iliac crest. Then I'm gonna get on to my TFL, so I'm just finding that greater trochanter on the outside. I've done other videos where I show you how. I'm gonna come about one inch in, one inch up. The TFL's pretty broad, so I'm just getting on kind of the meaty part of it. And I'm not gonna really roll on here. I'm just gonna keep some pressure here. You know, maybe hunt around a slowly just to find if there's a little trigger point that I'm going to sit on. Same thing though, about 30 seconds. My knees are uh, together, bend to 90 degrees, and I'm just gonna let my legs fall out to the side. I'm not trying to force it, just seeing what I got. So we'll see if this leg looks like it's hanging out a little bit more. You could even see an improvement in both sides, but we'll see if in particular this side looks like it gets a little more hip internal rotation. For the next one, we're gonna go after hip external rotation. So we're gonna test it just like this. So I'm gonna lie on my back. I'll keep doing the same side. I've got my foot crossed just above my knee and I'll let that fall to the outside. So you can see, hmm, that's not really super impressive, is it? So this is an active hip opener drill. So I'm gonna stand on my right leg. That's the side that I'm trying to work on. I'm gonna come into sort of my stiff legged deadlift position. So I feel a gentle stretch in my hamstrings. I'm not trying to go further than that. And then all I'm trying to do is use my lateral hip muscles to open and close. So this is actually pelvis on femur rotation. So my femur is fixed. I'm using the muscles of my lateral hip to rotate my pelvis about the femur hard to balance 
I'm just going to do four of these and see if that gives me some more flexibility in my hip. Let's do a retest. So exact same position, lying on my back, bringing this foot up just above my knee, and then just letting it fall out to the side. And even I can see, I can actually feel that it falls a lot further than it did before. My pelvis is still staying nice and neutral. So let's stick with the test retest uh, theme here. And I'm gonna start by just coming into tall kneeling abduction. So staying up over my knee, so not letting my hips sit back or my torso come forward. I'm just gonna come out as far as I can. Do I feel a strong stretch like I can't get any further? Again, we'll take a little note of how far that is. Um, I'll keep this pad in the exact same spot so that I can put my knee in the same spot and see what the range of motion is. But we'll kind of take a rough snapshot of that angle. For this intervention, I'm just going to get back in that position. I'm going out till I feel like, like a medium stretch. I'm going to hold that position. But then what I'm going to do is push down with my foot. Push my foot into the floor for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm building some tension there. Then I'm going to relax for about 10 seconds. Then I'm going to creep my leg out a little bit further, still staying up over my knee, so not sitting back in my hips. Then I'm going to push one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to hold for about 10 seconds for a stretch. Then I'm going to see if I can creep a little further without sitting back in my hips. And then I'm going to push one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to relax for about 30 seconds. So this is a, a style of PNF stretching similar to some of the FRC pails and rails, although different. Those are a little more advanced techniques. These are just some really simple ones that you can do. I really like this technique too because I'm also building strength at length. That isometric contraction is actually strengthening those muscles in this lengthened position, which is super functional for us as goalies. Okay, let's go back and do the remeasure. So last time I think my foot was out around here, around this sort of joint in the slide board. So now I'll keep that same posture. And now I'm almost to the joint of the two boards. So you should be able to see that that's, that's improved quite a bit. So my question to you is, does your current mobility routine include all of these three techniques or are you still mostly trying to get there through stretching? So I've just given you three of my top ways to instantly improve your hip flexibility. Are there different ways you can work on tissue quality, which is what we did with the lacrosse ball, uh, activation, which is what we did with the hip opener or building strength at length as we did with the growing PNF? Yes, absolutely there are. And if you let me know in the comments which one of those three areas you're most interested in, I can make another video just on that topic, doing a bit of a deep dive. We'll have to get our wetsuits on for that one. So yeah, we'll wait till it's a little, well, actually it's very warm now. So yeah, let me know. If you're just looking for a super simple way to get a two to four inch wider butterfly flare in the next two weeks or less, uh, go to your app store, search Butterfly Challenge. It's a totally free app that I put together for you guys. Super simple, takes less than 10 minutes a day and it, it over delivers on what you're gonna expect. I'll also put a link in the description for you if you're more of a click on the link, print off the PDF kind of guy or gal. Okay, I think I just heard somebody coming, so we gotta get out of here. Let me know which one of those three areas you wanna know more about. Drop it in the comments below. I'll make you a video giving you some more specific exercises for that area. As always, here's a few of my favorite exercises to help you get more mobility in your hips. Definitely check out that Dynamic Butterfly Mastery course.